Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back. Today it's all about making this pretty ruffle bustier dress. And guys, this dress is just perfect for any casual outing you can think of. So sit back, tap the subscribe button and tap the like button and let's head right in. <laughs> So step one, get your um, basic um, bodice uh, pattern like this. So um, if you don't know how to draft this, please check out the video right on top of your screen to find out how to draft a basic bodice pattern. Now before I continue, you can see that the inspiration for this um, dress um, is a um, corset or the basic foundation for the upper part is a corset foundation. So but then... Um, I'm not going to be doing mine as a corset as you can see because I found out that um, I don't have like a proper um, bustier tutorial so I'll be doing it instead of a corset I'll be doing um, using my upper part as a normal bustier uh, upper part so but then if you would like to um, go ahead with using the corset for the upper part instead of this bustier you can check out this video tutorial right on top of your screen I have no idea what went wrong with my battery but anyways let's continue it's, i think it's bright enough to see so yeah step two for today's um bustier pattern so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to come to the side right here and then i'm going to go down from here by 6 cm so this is the 6 cm this is the centimeter part of your tip this is the inches part so i'm going to go down by 6 cm then i'm going to measure 3 cm down and this is what I have here. so this is the middle right here so I'm going to connect the I'm going to connect a line from this three points down to my bust point here if you can see that then um, this 3 cm that I, I added here I'm going to come to the hem of my pattern right here and measure 3 cm downwards to cover for the 3 cm we added here so this extra that is just to give your um, boobs more lifts but i'll be showing you how to do that later then the next thing will be to um come to your dart line here this is my dart line let me just extend it up so on my dart points this is my dart point at the ample level this is my bust point right here you know to get this when you already know how to get this from drafting your basic body pattern so we all we did was go down by 4 cm and this is what we have this is our bust point so here you are going to get your bust arc measurements it's usually mostly three inches for most people but if you are like a bigger sized person um, I would advise that you measure that on yourself so to get that all you have to do is to place your tape measure right on your bust point all the way to where the underwire of your bra is so just like this so you could end up with um three inches or three and a half inches or even four inches now the next bit will be to measure my bust radius out so i'm going to measure three and a half inches round now if you have a compass you can use it to draw the bust radius round so it doesn't look wonky like mine so yeah now the next bit is to i'm going to raise my armhole here by one inch because this uh, pattern my basic pattern is a pattern that's supposed to have a sleeve so since uh, my bust here is a sleeveless uh, blouse i'm going to raise my armhole by one inch so if your own um, pattern is a sleeveless um, basic pattern you don't have to do you don't have to raise it by one inch then i'm going to also shift it in by one inch and that is what i have here so now what do we do you come right here to the that you have right here so from this dart leg you go out by one cm and from this dart leg also here you go out by one cm then i'm going to reconnect this back to my bust point here and then i'm going to reconnect back to my dart leg now the next bit is to um, draw a line from here down to you pick a midpoint, the midpoint of your shoulders right here. You draw a line from the from here down to that spot. So 
So from this point right here, I'm going to measure um, one inch this way and one inch also this way. Then you connect back to your bust point. Now this is all the this is um, what I'm going to be doing for contouring the bust here, and this is almost the same thing you do for a corset. So although there will be more that on your um, corset than you have on your bust here, so for a corset you might have to like pick another. Um, that's right here and all so yeah this is where i'm going to stop for contouring the bust here so now all you have to do now now we don't need this um bust uh, this circle anymore now all i have to do now is to draw in the shape of my um what's it called my um my bust here so you decide what shape you want for your bust here so you can now ignore this circle right so i'm going to extend this up and that's that. So I'm going to draw this dart line here downwards and draw it downwards here also. So if you want this is and that's that for the bust here. So if you want it straight and normal like this, you can leave it like this. But if you want to follow the um the style line of the of the inspiration of the dress inspiration, you can come to the side to the um to the midpoint here and then you go down by let's say maybe two inches then you kind of curve it up you curve it up back to your waist here but before we curve it up so that you don't get confused let me um cut this open so that we can transfer i'm going to transfer this um side that here i'm going to transfer it down to my waist that here to give it more lift so i'm going to cut this open now and then transfer it down here just before we curve the um hem of our upper parts here so it appears i wasn't recording <laughs> when i did this so i have to clean it up so i'm going to just show you what i did here so now um you can see that the transfer that from here is now in not successfully transferred here this is it so now all i have to do now is to just blend this up right here Now, for the curve we mentioned earlier, I'm going to draw that one. So, you know, we extended it for that um, shape for the end. And that's that. So, I'm just going to use my marker to uh, make it bolder, just so that you can see. So, this is now the new shape of our hem. And this is the shape of our bust here. By the time we are done, by the time you cut all of this out and then you start sewing, this will go back to the actual uh, measurements of your waist so once we close this that here this would go back to the actual um, measurements here of our waist to the actual location of our waist so i'm also going to blend these spots here at the side so remember i wanted this here so i'm just going to i mean i wanted um a little demarcation in the middle of my cleavage here so i'm just going to blend it into this spot and this is our completed bustier pattern so i'm going to cut this along the panel so i'll cut this this way then come this way and that will be um the side panel and then i'll cut this this way curve, follow this curve and then come this way and this will be the center front so this is center front side front now this is the panel for the front now for the back it's quite easy I'm going to drag that in now. So this is my basic body uh, my basic body pattern again for the back. I'm just going to um, raise it up again by one inch like I did for the front. Then you decide how low you want the back to be. So I'm going to go down by one inch. Or let's just go down by I don't want it too low. So let me go down by half inch instead. Please ignore this. So this is the right shape here. Right here at the zip side here. I'm going to go in by 1.5 cm. Then I'm going to connect that to any point like above in between this part. Then for the back that at the back level here, I'm going to just extend my dart line up to my back level here and this is my dart line extended 
up. So now I'm going to measure one cm out from here, one cm out from here. Then you connect to any point like here. You connect to both that legs here. And that's all for the back. So to cut this into panels, this will be the um, center back and this will be the side back. If I cut it, let me add um, allowance to this. And these are my cut out panels, center front, side front, side, side back, center back. So um, you can decide to hold the neckline of this back just a bit. Maybe you can hold this by like half inch, just a bit. And really that's it. So then now I'm going, just going to cut this on my fabric. So when I'm cutting on my fabric, I'm going to add half inch allowance to the center here and also to the center here. Quarter inch at the top of the neckline here. Quarter inch also here. Doing the same also here. Do the same also here. And then the side, you add one inch side allowance to that. So basically that is it for the upper parts. So for the lower part, just get your basic skirt block. This one is a pencil skirt block, but you can use a basic skirt block, whichever one you have at hand. So then you measure how long you want the, the dress to be. So for me, this is how long I want it to be. So yeah, now um, that um, waist design we did for the upper part, all you have to do is to come to the um, waist right here at the center, and then you go down by the two inches that you went down by on your upper parts so please note that there are no darts on this um, parts and i already took out my darts so because i don't want any darts on my lower part my fabric is stretchy so i really don't want any darts on on the lower part so yeah this is this here and then i'm going to draw a curve right to this point so you can place your center front right here to get the accurate shape of that and that's that you can see so yeah basically so you can decide the type of hem you want i want it a bit slightly a line i don't want it penciled up here or i may decide to also pencil it up i don't know yet <laughs> what the outcome would be but let me first if i want it penciled up this is what the shape i'll be following because this is already a pencil skirt um uh, pattern so if your own is a basic skirt all you have to do is just go in by at the hem here you go in by whatever you want to pencil it in that could be one inch could be one and a half inch so you measure that in and then you draw that back to your hip line but if you don't want to do it as a pencil if you want it um, as an a line i don't know yet what i'm going to end up with but let me first do let me just extend it to be an a line pattern just in case i decide to um, um use an a line pattern so if i decide not to all i have to do is just Cut the A line part away and use this like that. So, so for the A line, that is why um, I added a piece of paper here, right from this spot here. This is my pencil line. So at the hem here, this part here is just an allowance. So yeah. So from this pencil line here, I'm going to extend a line out, and this is that that I've drawn here. So then on this line from here, I'm going to measure how much I want to um, extend the a line by so i'm going to extend this by let's say let's say five inches then i'm going to draw a line from here back to my hip rather than my waist i'll draw it to my hip so i think five inches is a bit too much so i'm going to let's do three inches instead so you have to draw a line from here back to my back to your hip level and that is your a line right here and that's that so all you have to do is just add your allowance one inch allowance to the side you cut this out you can see at the waist here um remember to cut also this off so you add your half inch allowance to join it back to the upper part and then you cut it out so i'm not going to do all of that now and then remember the zip that also this is my zip that you egg the way we egg the exact way we did it for um the upper part you measure from the waist you measure 1.5 cm i already did my key and then once you have that you connect it to your upper hip level here so 
really that's basically it so i'm just going to cut all of this out now and then i'll show you what the pieces look like please remember we are not using this shape for the back of our skirt that is the back of our lower part it's going to be the normal way straight the normal way so this is only this only affects the front of your skirt so yeah and that's basically it for all of this so the only thing i did differently um to the pattern is to just hold it a bit i held it by one seam here let me check out the tape so it's just a little just to make it more firm and i did the same also here did the same here and also did the same here so yeah that is all i did now the only thing left to do is to cut this same pattern on your interfacing so this is an interfacing so this is called an um, st we go to the local market we call it st so you cut this in the same in the same pattern as this and then please note that if you are using a black fabric please use the black interfacing for yours i don't know where my black interfacing is that's why i'm using white and that's because it's not for anybody <laughs> it's just for myself so i can't find the black interfacing right now so i'll just use this one so the black i think is meant to go for black or dark dark colored fabrics and the white is supposed to go for bright or white colored fabric so now for the lower part the only thing i did differently was to curve it at the hem a bit right here so i just went one inch up here and then i curved it this way and added my allowance so this is what it looks like and this is my friends this is the back the waist of the back goes the normal way front back so yeah now i'm just going to cut my interfacing iron it on this and join um the center so i'll be joining my center front to the one side of my center front to one side of my side front and the other side of my center front you can see it's cut on fold the other side of my center front to the second piece of my side front and then i'll do the same also for the back piece then i'll show you the next step Please note that when you are sewing the bustier and you want to sew the panels, you sew from you sew from down to up rather than from up to down. So avoid stories that touch. <laughs> so it's better to sew from down to up rather than from up to down. So you place it this way and then you sew this way. That's what I mean. Then you can see that I already ironed this. And then I notched it a bit. Because it's a curved seam, so I notched it a bit so it will um, the, the seams will be really neat and all. So, yeah, all I have to do now, and then I did the same also for the back. This is the back piece, and this is the second one, and then I already cut all my linings. Look, these are my lining, this is my lining for the back, and this is my lining for the front. So now before I place my lining and my fabric together and sew round at the neckline, I'll first cut um, a strap for my um, bust here. To get the actual length, you can cut any length, you can measure it on your body to get the um, strap length or you can pick up your discarded paper, this discarded pattern paper that we used earlier. So the upper you can all you have to do is just to this is the one for the front so all you have to do is just to um determine where you want to place the strap so for me i'm placing it somewhere around it so i'm going to measure from there up to my shoulders here whatever i get i'm going to write it down somewhere so that's 5.5 inches then you pick up the back also and then you determine where you want to place your strap on the back so for me i'm placing it right here so from there i'll measure again up to my shoulder line and then i have 9.6 right here so i'll write that also down here then i'm going to add the two together 5.5 plus 9.6 whatever i get will be, will be my strap length so let me write let me have that. that's 15.1 inches so 
and then I'm just going to cut my um, my strap. Now to sew this, all I have to do is just to sew it by a quarter or half inch right here and turn it inside out. The iron flat. That is basically it. So I'm going to cut another one. This is for one. This is one strap. So I'm going to cut the second strap for my uh, for the other side of my of my dress. So guys, I want to point out again, again that I'm not going to. I'm not attaching any the breast pad or breast cup to this i'm not attaching any boning to this i want it to remain casual because really guys um it's not a party dress i want it to remain casual and everything and even without the breast cup or boning on air or everything everything is still going to be firm and structured but if you want to add a boning um you want to add a breast cup to this and then you want to um, lace it up at the back instead of for me I'm attaching a zipper to this one you add, but if you want to lace it up at the back you can check out this video tutorial on top of your screen where I explain how to do that so now we move on to the next piece of this tutorial now to place the uh, strap on the neckline you place the strap first in the middle point like this right on top of the front piece before placing your lining right over it so that is right sides together and then you do the same also for the other side you can see that see the strap right in the middle of this and then the lining over it then you begin to sew round so guys this is my completed dress you can see this is my straps um, added so I already joined it at the waist already. So the skirt is basically easy. Just join the um, back pieces together at the back, then join the sides and then you join to your dress. So I already fixed my zipper also to this, you can see. So this is it. So now for the ruched um, stuff at the strap, at the sleeve, we'll be doing the I'll be showing you how to do that now. So you cut a long piece of fabric for the ruched part, just like this. It can be as long as you want. The longer it is, the better, even because um, because of the ruching. So then you fold it. Then once you, this is just an illustration. So obviously, you know you would have um, turned this part inside, and also all of these parts will be inside. Then you are going to sew a gather stitch right here all the way down now look at this this is it gathered up here so now the longer you gather is the more fuller this um ruching or, or ruffle will be so now once you are done gathering you open it up this way at the edge here you open it up and then you place it on your you place it on the strap of your dress so you place this part this way on the strap of your dress and then you can use a needle and thread to sew it down all the way so you get to the other edge at the back that is the strap at the back so i hope you got the drift of what i'm explaining so this rich part you open it up like this at the end here then you begin to place it this part here you begin to place it on your strap with a needle and thread so by the time you are done this is going to come this way now because the way this is it's not wide enough for me so i feel like um i didn't like it too as um it's not wide enough i didn't like it this way and then again the fabric is not long enough so cover for that i decided to instead of doing this because it's not long enough and it's not wide enough for me if you prefer it that way you can't do it the way i just explained but then because it wasn't um wide and long enough for me i decided to really use it use this let me take off the others so because of that i decided to cut the lining for this so this is my lining for this so instead of reaching it at this spot here like i explained earlier i would have to like use my lining to turn the fabric 
round, round, round. Then once I'm done, so at the middle part here, I'm going to sew a gather stitch straight till I get to the end. So once I, once I'm done, it's going to look kind of like this. So once I sew a gather stitch this way, um, I'll gather it to the same length as my strap, the strap of my dress. So once I'm done, I'm going to now begin doing small, small reachings like around the fabric around this here i hope you understand what i mean by all this you use your needle and thread to make small reachings you can do another small reaching like here you do another one here all the way all the way till you get to the end so yeah and then after doing that this is what mine looks like this is what it looks like so you can see the reachings that I did for this. This is the back here. Now I'm just going to attach it to my to the strap of my dress the same way. So yeah, this one is pretty easy. It's just that it's time consuming. The other one is fast and straight to the point, but this one is um it's easy also, but it's time consuming because first I'll have to first gather at the middle, like I explained here. I first gather at the middle, then once I'm, I'm done gathering, I begin reaching all around, like all around at different spots of this. So yeah, I'm just going to do, complete this now and then I'll show you the rest of this. And that's pretty much it guys. Please type in the comment section if you have any questions concerning today's tutorial. Also, don't forget to tap the subscribe button, tap the like button so others like you can also find this tutorial. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!